heading to now, being a heck of a nice guy and running this last call for someone else that would have been uh, stuck with it. So this place is usually a real treat, so I'm sure you guys might have an excellent video to watch. So let's go see what kind of mess I get into. So anyhow, as you see, things aren't looking so good. Ice cream soft. It's it's got the wiggle wiggle. But this old bird, it was originally 502. You can about guarantee that. I can't read it from here, but I'm hoping that the compressor has PoE oil in it. 404 is probably what's going to go back in there. You see, we've got major issues. I've been here on plenty of calls in the past. It's just needs a lot of work. I uh, moved this earlier to show it to the owner, but that right there is what happened. It broke loose. That is the, uh, looks like the oil pressure switch. That ain't good, huh? Well, you can see all the oil down here. So, does it have the oil on it? AB oil. Well, that ain't gonna work. use these to help keep that kind of crap from happening so we got an oil pressure switch here I'm not gonna try to fix it I, I thought about it it's just not worth it I normally wouldn't do it and there's no reason to go that route so we've got that and a couple more of them back here if we need them that'll get us to there and we got the orange goblin right there you know what good grief I still need to look. I need to make sure that TXV head, I, it could be 22, it could have been 502. I'm not even thinking today. Yep, 404, 502. Coil's clean, that's not. I've got that, I wanted to make sure, cause man, that would suck. It could always be 22, especially when it's this freaking old. You can't uh, take anything for granted, cause man, it will bite you in the pooper hole. I'm on this uh, labeling kick, so I bought me a labeler and all kinds of different labels, bought the wraparounds, bought the, you know, all the different things. But when we get that on there, you're gonna know what the heck you're actually working on. That way, no more guessing. We'll uh, get that put on there and let's get this thing emptied out of the oil that's in there now. Showed how to do this before. What we'll end up doing is we'll slightly pressurize it and we'll push that oil right out and then we'll put in the uh, POE. You know what, it looks like somebody actually Put 404 in there and that's what's been working. We may not need to mess with the oil, but the oil looks like it's a little low. May not have to do that conversion. Maybe it'll just add to it, which I'm shaking it right there, buddy. It it blew it all out. It blew almost all of it out. Which did okay on that. Lovely. Oh yeah, you gotta love that. Oh yeah. So what are they, are we just feeding something else? Who knows? 96 was when that was built. So we're just adding until we get her back up there. This uh, pressure switch would have shut it down when uh, it lost its charge. So there's still refrigerant, I'm sure, vapor in the filter dryer. This is one of those jobs where you're keeping costs as low as possible. Got our oil levels back up. Somebody changed it at one point in time. I mean, for us, or whoever ended up doing it, switched it to 404, would have had to put the POE oil in there. They would have probably lost the compressor by now. I'd like to see that even with the uh, tube on it. This will have a tube when I get done. Should be able to just copy everything right over from one to the other. Looks like the same machine to me. Go. This one here must have broke off at one time.
I went ahead and put one on that switch there just in case. I don't want to have to come back and do this again later. We did everything but the loop. I don't want to spend a bunch of time on it, but I'm going to do a wire tie on that part there and do the same thing for this other one. on those loops. That'll help keep them from shaking. Get this thing evacuated. The, LED, or the green indicator is still green. This uh, obviously has vapor in it. It didn't go into a negative. The low pressure switch cut out. We're doing this on a budget. We're well over a thousand dollars as it is. So we're just gonna do what we gotta do to get going and uh, get them back up and going as quick as possible. It's Friday night and uh, you know don't help when the freezer's down. So. know me better than that but we're doing a down and dirty evacuation on this that is not where you took your gauge at you guys have seen me do it a million times if uh, you ain't figured it out yet like I said change the oil once may have to do it again but we're gonna be valving off and then we'll change the, the hoses and go back to the manifold we'll dump it in all right put things in perspective for you guys I valved this thing off to isolate the vacuum pump and when I did that my vacuum went up. It actually should have went down because you was pulling on just the hoses. That's how bad these king valves and stuff are actually leaking. This system's known for leaking. It needs replaced. I mean, if you didn't notice that on the inside, it's in very bad shape. So what I did is I blended everything up to the service valves through the manifold, opened up the uh, liquid valve there, and we're dumping in liquid straight into the receiver, which we're at five pounds so far. We're going to empty this one completely in there because I know there's not a whole lot in there. But we're sucking that in and once we do that we'll go ahead and then kick it on and then we'll get it charged up the rest of the way. we got to wait for the fans to come on. There's all kinds of things that's got to happen yet. I mean this thing is old. When you can stick your hand through the grill like that and grab a hold of the fan, you're, you're old. That's back when safety uh, wasn't that big of a deal. So far six pounds area and it seems like that's about where she's going to die out at. So we dumped them with seven pounds in and then another 11 pounds so we're about 18 area. We're we'll watching her just kick on starting to build the head up. Got to watch that. Once that fan kicks on everything's going to change on us I'm sure. Oil staying down at lower third level there. Fans ain't on yet, so things are gonna change quite a bit once those come on. It's uh, just gonna let this thing go for a while, running uh, 15 with 190 head, so it's building up. We're gonna spray those fittings. You can see how we got some shake going on there. I like to put my loop down closer to the device. That way you don't have as much weight up in the air causing it to shake more. To me, it just makes more sense. So we're going to lower that loop down to there. That'll get rid of some of the shake and it won't be as bad. So see how it ain't shaking as bad now. We have no shake at all here on that line. No shake on that line there. We're doing pretty good on that there. So 18 pound suction. So yeah, we'll go back in, double check that. I'm sure we'll flash off. Just can't really do much until we get this thing uh, optimal conditions. 
see some of the other equipment fairly tired. A lot of the noise is just that fan shaking the crap out of it. Enough to drive you nuts. Looks like a compressor was replaced in 20. Suction's dropping because that fan's not running yet. So the fans are running, went in to double check that. So we are running there. We have full sight glass. That leaks there on the stem, that's great. Now it may go away when we close it. See. Yeah, not bad. Looks like it'll stop when we do that, but. Right now we got 14 pounds there. All right, so we valved it off, We're waiting for it to pump down. We'll make sure this thing shuts off. We'll see where that level is in these uh, receivers we got underneath here. You got a receiver there, one over there. So they're really good size. Let's see where this thing shuts off at. I would think now would be good to one pound. Wow actually shuts off all right good so let's see what we got for receiver level all right guys so we went through we finished up getting some wire ties on uh, a few of the miscellaneous ones we sprayed all the flare fittings made sure we didn't have any leaks got our caps back on everything's good to go you know it's just uh one of the things that happens is things get old they vibrate things break you can put these uh, split quarter inch uh, plastic uh, tubes on there. That helps out quite a bit. Um, went ahead and labeled it. We put 21 pounds of uh, 404 in there. We know that it's for uh, POE oil. So I didn't see that there. So all the same, just made it a little more obvious. So the defrost box got a little bit longer to go before it's gonna hit for probably about three hours. Uh, so we should be fine. I'm going to just leave it behind for the time it took me to repair it. The uh, system's up and running. we got full sight glass. I'm pretty confident we're good on our levels. That's about what I've seen before on these uh, old units. All right, guys. So we just came back in here. It definitely feels like it's working. We've got uh, ice starting to slush up on the ground from where things have fell down here before. So it's a working. Uh, you can see it's definitely freezing things. So good enough for today. If you enjoyed the video, if you want to see more like it, make sure you hit the thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, guys, we will catch you on the next one.